Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content created by using the links on screen and in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with the next, and I'm super happy to continue on our battle mode journey. As you guys all know, we love Do a Dreamer's content. You can check out his battle mode, story mode, and all his other stuff on his channel. We got links in the description below as well on the bumpers on each side to support him. Check out his Patreon. He has a bunch of people supporting him. And you know, if you enjoy his stuff and want to see more and help, you know, make better stuff for him, then you should support him as well. I would try, but I am also broke. So I get the struggle. Having said that. Uh, we will always give the shout outs. We love doing these reactions. We love chatting with him in the comments. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to see more of these coming episodes, season six, etc. Uh, we're starting with uh, Battle Mode bonus episode five, the Flash is Open Challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to love the Flash. I know a decent amount about him, not super too much. Uh, you know, and no more than any other DC character I know. Uh, and yeah, I think it's going to be a great episode. The Flash is a super strong character, really interesting and hard to write for her because his powers are so broken and hacks but we're not we're not here to talk about hacks broken powers we're here to watch him beat up on people so let's go check out the open challenge as always remember support do a dreamer he's gonna give you a little ability to do that here and then we'll go through the intro should be hey fun guys, should be great Curly B and Matthew for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account for battle mode, story mode, and training mode, and cross battle wrestling. And if you want to get channels like these, get early access, or you get an end request done for you, there's a link down below. Also, a link right here that will tell you how you get these perks. Every little bit helps for the future of battle mode, story mode, training mode, and cross battle wrestling. Now, on to the next bonus episode of battle mode, the fifth bonus episode, the Flashes Open Challenge. Should be a fun one. I, I enjoy the open uh, challenges. So there you got battle mode, training mode, story mode, and uh, cross battle wrestling, I think that is. That's what the X is for. They all look cool. I like the new uh, logos. I definitely gotta start getting some more designs done for our stuff, but we gotta start <clears throat> making more money first. <laughs> we do our best. Speaking of, we're still waiting on the new stuff to come in and we gotta design another sticker. We're actually accepting it, idea submissions, so. Hey! So wait, which Flash is this? That's the other good question. Is this Barry Allen or Wally West? The others don't, no one cares. <laughs> they, no one cares about the rest of the Flash. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, Jake Garrick and, you know, all these other people who are adjacent, like uh, Max Mercury, and you know, people do care. Oh, man, he's just going to be beating the shit out of people. Yeah, they're done for. None of these people can fight him. Like, not even touch this. None of these people could even touch him. In a serious encounter where he's going all out. Uh, my opinion, but yeah, no. Like, he's just so fast. The, the best chance you have for the Flash is to catch him off guard because his showings will show that even though he does have the ability to function at these speeds, he doesn't stay function at these speeds all the time. Let's go. Like, his, his awareness is a trigger, right? Like, he triggers super, super sense and super speed. He doesn't constantly have them on. Or it would drive his human mind insane. There's actually a whole episode about that in Justice League. Where he's like stuck in, out of, you know, out of time or whatever. Let's not even mention how time travel or time moving at that speed works as far as time, right? We're not gonna get started on that. Nice animation, by the way. I love the cyclones. He did the cyclones. That's like a t it's classic. Oh God, Titus Prime, by the way, the animator, looking good. Who the f is this? Oh, sh uh, I recognize them from some of the other fights. One of them. Not that one, though. Uh, having said that, I don't think either of these guys are fast enough to really deal with it. Well, but once again, it's always up and down, right? Like, that's talking as if you if you were going to write Flash at his peak, uh, peak abilities, right? Written, written as if he wasn't dropping the ball or, you know, getting caught off guard, etc. He's just so damn fast, dude. Most characters don't even approach his speed. 
Like, if you're not faster than light, you're just not even in his ballpark. Which, we're not even gonna get into the physics the of that. Favor. This isn't even counting his, like, hacks abilities, like speed steal or time travel. This is just super speed at this point. Oof, that looks rough. Oh, they're all fighting. Interesting. I really don't know who that is. Oh. They go back human or Let's go. It was like an explosive ooh, aura. I remember seeing this guy in another fight. Question is when is gonna Flash gonna turn up the gas? There we go. I love the super speed fighting though, it's so great. <laughs> you gotta be faster than that. <laughs> Alright, interesting. I liked it. I I figure it's gonna be tough without with very few exceptions. If you're gonna give him his hacks abilities and his super speed to its maximum potential with his all his abilities to their max potential, he's an insanely broken character at some points. Much along the lines of any other uh high level comic character. You know what I mean? That they just get hacks abilities eventually. Sorry, I was getting ready to skip, but we like to um see all the support on the bottom here. He's giving shout outs. Uh we like to see the channel art at the end, all the different flashes. And of course. Get some words of advice. Battle, and do you agree Ooh. or disagree with the result that this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animators' work. And always dream big. Always dream big, guys. The Flash theme, rock cover by Bader Nana. Didn't know that. Well, always dream big, guys. We're going to keep going to the next one, which is Cuphead versus Rayman. Hey, everyone, I can't Rayman. comment on this one. Quick shout out to our artistic gamer, Sean. Episode Superman, 118, by the way. Drop. Curly B and Matthew for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account. And if you want to get shoutouts like these, get early access, or you can get an animated request done for you. There's a link down below. Also, a link right here to tell you how to get these perks. Every little bit helps for the future of battle mode, story mode, train mode, and cross battle wrestling. Now on to the next episode of battle mode: Cuphead versus Rayman. Enjoy. Interesting. All my plans got sidetracked by doing stuff this month. So this one's rough for me because I know a little bit about Rayman and his kind of cartoony comic-ish stuff, but nothing about Cuphead. Like, nothing. Ooh, T-A-A -A Entertainment. So this can go either way. They're both super cartoony. They got the Toon Force. Oh, interesting. Although it looks like uh, Cuphead has a lot more classical feel, which also gives it a little bit of that horror-esque stuff. Cause Back then, people used to draw wild, like horror-inducing. Okay, he has a finger gun. So right now, Rayman is just getting beat up. <laughs> he's just bouncing. He's just breathing. Ooh. 
cool, nice effects. The electricity crack went out. Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, that was pretty short and crazy. You guess so? I couldn't comment on this one. I, I don't know enough of Cuphead. I honestly think with some of the abilities he was showing off, he might have had a better chance than just getting popped in the face. But it was an interesting showdown. Uh, I love that they're using the Rayman sound, though. I recognize that for sure. Uh, as always, you can check out all these different uh, thumbnails provided by people. And he's going to give a shout out to the people at the end who definitely deserve it for supporting because man people don't understand how much more important it is to be like a supporter right or to be a follower than a leader like it is important to have leaders and have good leaders but a leader is made by the like there's a whole experiment called the leader follower thing you go look it up um it's at like a music festival where a guy starts dancing and he needs a follower result? this was a research battle feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below thanks for watching Please subscribe to my channel, check out more of the animators' work. Warlord and Productions. Always dream That's not the Warlord Productions I know, is it? They did pretty good work on his intro stuff. Anyway, uh, up to the next episode. Which is Mario and Sonic versus Turbo Mecha Sonic. Is he a teacher? Is the link down below, also a link right here that tell you how you get these perks. Then he might be. For the future of battle mode, story mode, training mode, and cross battle wrestling. It could be incorrect, but I'm looking at the side things and I recognize that from my time as a teacher, so. And Sonic versus Turbo Mechasonic. You heard him. Damn, we're already one episode, episode 119. We only have um, one, two, three, four episodes left, and one of them is pretty, pretty short. Oh no, that one's not even the the actual episode, so we've only got three left. Because one of those is a reveal. Um, but but my, my bad. So that was the intro, and we love the intro, but we've seen it quite a bit. Oh, look at all those! They were showing. I should not be eating these chips, but I don't think you guys can hear it, right? Let's get it on. I can't tell. I'll crush you. Oh, hey, he's voiced. I can't tell if that's the real voice or not. Interesting. Damn, I don't know if tomorrow had fighting moves like that. You can't help but think, yeah, that Turbo Mega Sonic would maybe come out ahead on that. Oh god, he's gonna like rocket! Oh, the cloud! Cool! Alright! <laughs> I love the sound effects. Those are definitely just samples. Nice. Ghost Artorias, by the way, is the animator for this, and I've been forgetting once or twice in these last couple episodes to mention it, but always check out the animator stuff. Ooh, cool green background move. Alright, so that's definitely a voice sample, not a uh, voiceover. <laughs> that was cool. Die! <laughs> Nice combo move, eh? Oh, alright. I got you! Oh. Okay, let's do this! Interesting. That was definitely interesting. I don't know how much Mario added by just throwing him, but if, hey, cut him in half, so. Teamwork makes the dream work, boys and girls. And then Betrayal by Mario. <laughs> like, there can only be one! <laughs> there can only be one!
I do like this ending for the thing that it's a recurring thing. I'm not sure if that's an animation or if that's a 3D animation. Uh, as always, guys, we'll take this opportunity to shout out Dua Dreamer and the amazing work he does companies the others, as well as the animators who make these amazing things. Uh, check out all these cool little thumbnails. Uh, I gotta learn more about Super Turbo, whatever, Turbo Mecha Sonic, because he looks interesting, but also ridiculous. You know what I mean? Just that right level of crazy bonky. Um, yeah, and then uh, obviously we're gonna listen here to Duro Dreamer real quick in a second. Yep. What, are your thoughts on this what is this song? I like that they got different outro results? songs now. That's pretty dope. Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Battle mode intro and logo design channel. Warlord. Follow me by Steven. Work. Stage and start. Always dream big. I want to. I want to play that song now. Oh, sorry, wrong button. And then let's go to. Uh, hmm. I guess this depends. I gotta see. Man, they never show the One Piece look. I'm gonna like the One Piece characters always lose. To be fair, they're usually not scaled that high. Also, the link right here is gonna tell you how to get these perks. If a little bit helps for the future of battle mode, story mode, train mode, and cross battle wrestling. Now on to the next episode of battle mode: Sasuke versus Law. So I can't really comment too much on this because one, I don't know what Sasuke this is. If it's an adult Sasuke, it's gonna be a real difficult fight for a lot. I don't think he has a chance, um, especially after you get to like six stage pass where he gets the running gun. It's not to say that there's no chance, but Law's abilities, right, are high level, but not only up to that point, right? Like he can slice mountains in half. His room is insanely big. He controls anything in the movement of it. The biggest thing that's probably going to lose it for him is definitely the... And then there's that whole argument about Genjutsu and Sharingan outside of the Naruto universe. But assuming Genjutsu works, right? Then there's he doesn't really have a way to fight against the Sharingan that I know. Because it's just a super big hacks one. Uh, to be fair, Travel Guard could also just like heart swap him with somebody in the immediate vicinity. But if there's nobody around, then that's one of the Travel Guard's hacks that nobody ever talks about. And that, that's never really utilized for some reason. So this is a younger uh, Sasuke, right? Where it doesn't look like he's... I can't tell if this is Great War Sasuke or right before Great War Sasuke. Now, Great War Sasuke before Renengan, I think would still be a good fight against Law. Like half and half would be pretty good fights. And that's where the, the whole hacks versus hacks kings come in. So, for instance, you can't say that, all right, Law, like, has no, like, you can't say Genjutsu automatically works and Law has no defense against it, and then say, oh, well, Sasuke can block Law's cutting ability, which should not be able to, right? Like, if he doesn't have hockey, you can't stop his Devil Fruit ability. He's just going to slice right through you, no matter what it's made of, right? The room slices through everything. And so that's where I really think it comes in is that, uh, yeah. The eye thing. That Genjutsu being the one, like it's like if, if you don't know what's going on, you're gonna lose the fight every time. So I'm not mad at that uh, at all. But as once again, you gotta assume that these uh, anime universes work in tandem, right? That all the abilities from one universe works here. We'll go over there. But as we've seen from different multiversal crossovers, such as uh, Justice League versus uh, Avengers or whatever, or DC versus Marvel, that's not always the case, right? The Speed Force doesn't exist in the Marvel Universe, therefore the Flash will lose to Quicksilver in the Marvel Universe. Uh, we don't know how these interact that way, though. However, given what I saw, sorry, I'm going to pause it. I definitely would be fine saying, yeah, I think uh, Sasuke can win only by using the Sharingan. That's his only way to win. Uh, otherwise, Law just cuts through everything. Do you agree or disagree with the result if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animators' work. And always dream big. All right, and so we're gonna go on to the next one, which is our. Oh no, we got two more. Oops. I thought we only had one more, but we have this one, and then uh, one more after this.
Power Drop, which works Relative out well for us. And Mafia for being one of our patrons on our Patreon account. And if you want to get shout outs like these, get early access, or even have a request animated for you, there's a link down below. Also, a link right here to tell you how to get these. There it is. Join the team up in the right corner. See it? Story mode, training mode, and cross battle wrestling. Now, on to the next episode of Battle Mode Ghostface versus Jeff the Killer. And Jeff. Uh oh. Is this another real life one? Scream and well, keep creepy pasta. Dreamer, what's your favorite versus match? <laughs> Definitely interesting. I think that one would have been a good spot to use some uh, voice deepening technology. It helps. All right. It helps. Alrighty, let's see. I have no idea who Jeff the Killer is. I am not a creepypasta guy. Oh, hello. Oh, this one looks like a live one. Hi there. Interesting effect. From all the killers that are out there, you have come. Well, that surprises me a lot. Is that a butter knife? We are barely superhuman. It, it is a bit. It is a butter knife. But you had the balls to actually arrive here. <sighs> you did, joke face. Shut the fuck up and fight! Let's get it on! How bad? I wonder who did this one. It looks like it was probably, uh. Shit, who's the announcer? Honestly, not all that bad. Honestly, I've definitely seen uh, worse. I like the amount of effort. You guys don't know how much effort goes yeah, into doing that shit. Like it's a lot of work to make any kind of uh, live action interchange fight. Fight? Uh, I have no idea who would have won. Uh, but you guys have no idea if you haven't done it yourself how difficult coordination of, uh, uh, sorry, choreography is in video. E especially for fighting, but even just shooting from the different angles, right? Going to the here and here. Um, but I thought they did a pretty good job. Obviously, there's always room for everyone to improve, but I thought they did a good job on bringing that to kind of life. I would be interested. I didn't know who was actually playing them, but it was cool. This live action battle? Do you agree or disagree with the results if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank Writer and director, you. Jeff the Killer. Okay, so that was A-Force? Freaky Legends. Okay. Johnny. I was my announcer Z Dog. I thought it was Z Dog was dead, but I guess it was one of those guys. Okay, my bad. Oh, whoops. Uh, as he said, Dream Big, Sweet Dreams Instrumental. That was an interesting one. I appreciate that they went out of their way to try something different there. You know what I mean? And do something that was not. All right. So we got another uh, One Piece character. All right. If Sanji loses this, I'm calling bullshit. Sanji's. 
showed way more destructive power than Bakugo has ever shown. He's shown way higher speeds. It just shouldn't even be close. But I'm sure they'll make it close. But yeah, like Sanji's uh, been shown to dodge light lasers at that speed. He's been, he's able to fly. Um, yeah, and that's not even counting the new suit. But. By C Spadinner. Oh so man, C Spadinner. Support man. I don't know who he supports, but I know who I'm supporting on this one. Enjoy. Uh, Sanji's just at this point, right? I'm sure Bakugo has higher to go, but the current abilities that Sanji would possess, right? Uh, the different types of hockey to see the future, his speed, right? He has observation hockey and a fairly decent one at that. He can't see the future future, but he's definitely got observation hockey. Uh, once again, Bakugo is a powerhouse, don't get me wrong. He's strong, fast, he can fly with his explosions, but the level of control that Sanji has in 3D momentum using his actual legs and to the ability to kick just to kick out. But we'll see. I'm, I'm, I just, I don't know why, but I just have a feeling they're gonna do my One Piece dudes dirty again. They always do them dirty. Like all the enemies, DJ Dino. I've seen this dude dodge a pistol at point blank range, and that isn't even this Sanji. I beat this out of him. I guess I could take it, but. Kid, I'm a pro hero, old man. Yeah, whatever. Go play hero somewhere else. This is exactly how it would be. See, this Sanzi should have Diopoli Jombly. Oh, shit. Yep. Once again, that's not surprising for him to dodge that at all. Yep, the Jambe. So this might not be Gep, uh, Moonwalk or Skywalk Sanji. He hasn't shown his ability to fly yet. And that ship up. Why did he have to walk in between all those? <laughs> this is kind of what I expected. Once again, Bakugo would put up a good fight. But Sanji is just... On another level. That was accurate. All right, I was afraid they were gonna like give give a random. They didn't do either of them flying though, so I don't know which versions of each of these guys that were going at it. But I definitely agree. I was waiting, man. I was waiting for the One Piece drama to come up. I'm like, man, they just always bitches out to somebody. And sometimes it's better than others, but this one would have been a rough one. All right, uh, and my camera died, of course, because why wouldn't it? Uh, for those who don't know. Uh, you can check the description below or the links and find yourself a way to support Duo Dreamer. He's going to tell you here how to help as well. Do you agree or disagree with the result if this was a research battle? Feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out more of the animator's work. And always dream big. Well, you heard him, guys. Sorry my camera died out. It does that a lot. <laughs> um, as you know, we uh, we love support Duo Dreamer here. You can see all the different stuff uh, that we've done in the playlist we've made. And uh, remember to use those bumpers, those descriptions, to check him out. He deserves the support. You can see that he has some patrons currently, but he could always use more to help him make some more great stuff. We enjoy watching it, and we would love for him to do it. Uh, we will be doing more of these 30-minute episodes, probably roughly one a month, depending on how fast uh, Battle Mode itself comes out. We may switch over to Story Mode and some other stuff, uh, depending. Uh, and these are also only taking up slots while we wait to see if we can continue our 1v1 piece series. 
But having said that, we still love doing them. And when we do get chances, we will absolutely continue doing them. Uh, special thanks to all our supporters and patrons. You guys mean the world to us. And we'll catch you next time on Reactions with an X Battle Mode Duo Dreamer. You know, like he says, uh, always keep dreaming, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.